Idly ho, neighborinos. To this week, we have something different for you. We're doing shortcuts and glitches instead of the usual top tens and streams and update videos. This week, we are doing shortcuts and glitches to help you out and give you a winning edge in Left 4 Dead 2, or if you just want to get outside the map. Now, we're starting off with just two campaigns, Dead Center and Dark Carnival, so don't kill yourself over it. That's actually something we'll be showing you in a minute, but Dead Center and Dark Carnival are the focus of our glitches and shortcuts today. So the first one I'm going to show you is actually one I just learned about last week, thanks to my friend Xbox. Shout out to him. So basically, this is great if a tank spawns ex right at the beginning of a uh, Dead Center campaign. So you're going to want to go to the rooms to the left. You don't have to take the hallway. You can go through the rooms. And you're going to see the windows at the left there. So what you're going to do is hold down A. This will make it to where you can't hold off the edge. Hug the wall and land on the window. Now that might sound tricky, but it's actually not too bad. Now bots, they're going to follow you, so be careful. They're going to want to kill themselves because you're cheating. Xbox and DJ will make a prime example of what you should do and not what the bot did. Hold down A, hug the wall, and land on the window. Easy peasy. If it's too hard for you, just practice it a few times, you'll be fine. Now this one is pretty well known. What you're going to want to do is kill someone in the elevator. You're going to want to defib for this. And then let their body just flop on the ground. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Start it up. Get that defib out. You're going to see him ascending just like Jesus. And just like Jesus, he comes back again. Now this time he's on top of the elevator. This is a great way to get past the horde if you want to. Because this horde's not going to spawn until those doors open. Now here's another shortcut you could take in the midst of that horde. That fire's gonna hurt you like hell, but if you have adrenaline, run right over. It's gonna you're gonna take damage, but you skip that little loop if you're a rush in versus mode. Now you might remember somebody killing themselves earlier with a defib in the hand. Well, there they are, and we're gonna bring them back. That's right. You can take a four-story plummet and come back to life through a defibrillator. This is perfect for versus if you get charged off, and of course the chainsaw is just gonna go right through his gut and do nothing. So we're going to keep on going in just a second, but let's just, I got one more glitch for this chapter to show you. Now this is a little sign you can jump on here, jump on the light and then jump on the top of this little roof here. Jump on the Vanna sign and you can have a nice little hiding spot if you're trying to troll in verses. I kind of messed up there so let me do it again. The sign, the light and then the sign once more. Now this isn't really a glitch or shortcut, but it's a nice little tidbit because you just might be one of messing around with your friends. Now this is for the infected out there for the chapter two on the streets. If you're a hunter, basically this is a way to scale and get really high up. So get your back against the wall, hunt upwards, and then have your circle angle out just a little bit. Keep hunting and you'll get on top of an invisible wall and you can basically get outside the map, get a good vantage point for a 25 damage pounce. And honestly, this can be used in any map as long as there is just a long vertical wall, whether it's physical, invisible, whatever, what have you. As you can see, I'm getting outside the map where not all the uh, textures and whatnot were rendered, but I can't go out that far. And the only way to get out is either by going into spawn mode again as the hunter or using that trick once more and scaling the wall. As you can see, I'm doing it, but I kind of messed up there. So what you want to do is have your back against the wall vertically, completely linear, shoot upwards, and then point your circle out a little bit and just keep hitting the trigger for hunting. I'm going to keep ascending as you can see, and eventually I'll be on the roof. Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? Now as you can see the survivors are too far away for me to pounce, but if you're pretty good at pouncing from far up, this is great for your 25 damage pounce. And we can go ahead. There's one more spot in this map that you can actually do that from. So let me go ahead and shoot right over there. Now, this isn't really easy to get a pounce because there's an invisible wall in front of the building. So just uh, toy with it and see what you can do. This building right here is something you can ascend easily to. As I said before, put your back straight up against the wall. Shoot upwards. Just make sure you're aiming to the sky and not vertically to the building. Because honestly, it's how the hunter works. If you have your back against a wall while hunting, you can basically Spider-Man over there. This one's a little, another little hunting tidbit in Chapter 3, The Mall. See, there's a skylight right there. Now, you would think you would just hit a brick wall or literally a window. You can actually go through that window as a hunter, go outside the map. You're not going to go very far, but it does make the game glitch out visually. You can hunt, pounce, whatever you want to do from the escalator and you're good to go there. 
Now we're going to get to my favorite glitch in Left 4 Dead 2. This is in the finale of Dead Center. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and change the difficulty to Expert to make this a little easier and faster. You're going to want to end cap one of the survivors. We're going to go ahead and end cap our bot Rochelle. and eh, We don't need Rochelle anyway. Who needs to repopulate? So we're going to go ahead and set it back to easy. This is just to make it faster. You don't have to. It doesn't matter what difficulty you do this on. You can do this on versus too. So go ahead and end cap a survivor and then rush to the elevator. Now once you get in the elevator, you're going to notice something a little bit off about this finale. So go ahead and take out any zombies you want to get there as fast as possible because if they die, this isn't going to work. So get everybody in the elevator. Now what this is going to do, the finale is going to be bugged and basically what's going to happen is nothing is going to spawn. The horde's not going to come, nothing's coming. So what you're going to want to do is, this is actually a glitch. I don't know if this was intended for like a survival. I guess it makes it kind of like a survival thing, but once the elevator opens, nothing is going to spawn. Special infected will still spawn, especially if you're playing versus. That's not going to mess up the enemy team's spawn points. But no tanks, no horde, until you hit a certain thing. So this allows you to pick up all gas cans. So basically if you're playing expert, so this will give you free roam to basically get all the gas cans you want. Now there is one thing, you're going to notice that thing just turned blue. Uh, that's what you're gonna you're gonna actually hit that it's the enabler to start the horde That's why I considered this to be like a survival prototype Because once you hit X on that the horde will instantly start So don't don't go hitting that until you have all your gas cans in order now Here's the thing make sure you have alt you can have 12 cans in but don't put all the gas cans in the car before you start the horde because if you do you can have all the cans in the car, but the car will not start. You will be indefinitely stuck with a car that won't start and you cannot finish the campaign. That happens in Versus too, so basically it becomes survival, see how long you can last. I think that's what they meant and intended with this little glitch. I didn't know if they intended it, if it was a survival mod, but make sure you have 12 cans in, start the horde, and put the last can in. Because we kind of messed up here and I forgot this. We've been doing this glitch for a while. We learned about it. But this glitch will not work for you if you don't have... If you have all the gas cans in, it's not going to work for you. Actually, I think what happens here is I put the can in. Okay, yeah. I think that, yeah, it started. You know what? I think this just doesn't work in general. Because, yeah. So... That's the drawback to this, but it works pretty good in Versus if you're just getting that 800 points that you need. Yeah, we're cheaters, but whatever. So we're going to go ahead and skip to the next campaign, the good old Dark Carnival. Now we're going to go ahead and do Dark Carnival. Now this part isn't really a glitch, but it is a shortcut if you're doing a rush of the campaign or Versus. So go ahead and jump on the guardrail there, jump over the van, that'll take a nice chunk out, especially if you're playing tank mode, that is necessary. Now this is another necessary part if you're rushing, it really cuts a big chunk out of the runtime for you. Jump on the bumper of this bus, and then you can jump onto the moving truck there, and boom, you took a good chunk out of that map. Now we're going to go and skip to chapter 3, the roller coaster. If you're wanting to not just go do a loop around on the bridge, there is a bush to the right right after the tunnel, and Xbox is going to mess up because I kind of bumped him on the jump, but jump on the bush here and you can just ride the bush to the safe room. Now there's an invisible wall there, but you can just plop it right through, and there is the shortcut. Now here's another one. It's a real good glitch spot for the special infected. Now you preferably want to be a boomer and smoker. I'll explain to you why that is, but we'll go ahead and show you. Just go ahead and get kind of where you were as a survivor, and you're going to jump on the bush through the roof here. That way you get enough distance. Now, don't spawn. It's better to not have spawned because you're faster as a ghost than you are special infected. So jump down. It doesn't matter if you fall down two stories there. You're going to go under the map and crouch. Make sure you're crouched and follow our pattern here because if you go anywhere else, you'll be stuck and you'll have to press X to teleport to the survivors. Now, keep following what we're doing. The reason we picked a Boomer and Smoker is because they're the only ones that have long distance projectiles that can phase through the map here. Now what happens here is we're underground and we can actually scratch the survivors while we're under them. They can't do anything to us because we're under the map and you can literally not shoot through the ground of the map. 
As you can see here, we got under them and I'm just sitting here scratching the survivors while I'm a boomer. Now I can actually vomit through the ground and get a good boom off on them. And yeah, as you can see, even bots that can auto aim you can't even find you here. So it's pretty uh, good for versus if you're trying to get some extra advantage on the enemy team. Now one of the best parts about this is actually being a smoker. Because why? Because of the hill that they have to ascend as a roller coaster. Now as you can see, you can see the vomit come through the ground and there's nothing they can do about it. So here I am vomiting again. There's nothing they can do against you. And here's my favorite part. You get the smoke off there, end cap them, make them hang off the edge. And there's literally nothing they can do to stop it. So that's a little bit of cheating for you, but I think it's, it's strategic. It's strategic, man. So this is one of my favorite glitches. If you jump on the finale door here, you can jump onto the fence and over and you are outside the map. Now there's no going back if you jump over this fence, but this is good if you're just wanting to kill time, shoot the wall up, or if you're in versus, troll the team. Only thing that can really get you is a jockey and hunter and I just got hunted. Good thing there's bots there. Now you can get your friends, but if a tank spawns, it'll break the door. So make sure you jump over before a tank spawns. Now this is the final one I'll be showing you. If you're doing the versus finale, you're gonna wanna keep the enemy team behind that door. It's gonna be really hard since they're infected, but I have my friends here just to uh, perfectly showcase it to you. So if they're a special infected behind that door, if you start the finale, anybody behind that door will be instantly kicked. As you can see, everybody on the team was kicked and it shut down the server. Well, that's it for the glitches and shortcuts for Dead Center and Dark Carnival. If you want to see glitches and shortcuts for campaigns such as Swamp Fever, Hard Rain, and The Passing, which I'll be doing next, leave a comment below, like, I need to see some support. And, well actually, we're looking for more subscribers, we just hit 1190, which is the station I work for. I thought that was pretty cool. And, if we hit 1500 subscribers, I will do a face reveal by doing lip sync videos and whatnot. I might even have a webcam to bring up while we play some stream games. If you want to see that, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Wow Such Gaming, and my name is ZachS2010. Thanks for watching.